接下来的主题演说是 The impact of Wikidata powered info boxes on minority and low resource language Wikipedia in Africa。那这是预录的演说影片，麻烦再帮我播一下影片。The impact of Wikidata-powered info boxes on minority and low resource language Wikipedia in Africa.、Uh, I will be taking you through how this、um, Wikidata-powered info boxes, such as Data Box and BioTemplates, has helped improve the quality of articles on the African language Wikipedia versions and. I also will take you through how to add data box or and also like a bio template to your language Wikipedia. And well, I'm currently serving as the West African Language Coordinator at Art and Feminism, and also、um, a steering committee member for the Wikimedia Language Diversity Hub. I'm also the executive director for the Daban Wikimedia User Group, and I'm super excited to be sharing more. With you about how、um, Wikidata powered info boxes can help improve your language Wikipedia, and how this has helped contributors of low resource language Wikipedias to improve their quality of content on the Wikipedia. So I will be focusing more about the challenge of like adding, you know, info boxes, and、uh, I will also share. About how Wikidata has made this very easy for people to be able to add info boxes in their language Wikipedia. So the big challenge is that it is very very complicated to、um, add info box template to Wikipedia, especially Wikipedia articles, especially on the English Wikipedia. And For newcomers, is mostly complicated for them to be able to like edit templates,、um, like info box templates on English Wikipedia,、um, especially if they don't know how to, you know, modify or customize existing templates. When I joined、uh, Wikipedia some years back, it was a little bit difficult for me to like.、Uh, You know, edit Wikipedia、uh, templates because, like, it was very difficult to just modify templates because at that time I did not understand exactly how this is done, and I was also. Not really familiar with the, you know, source editing, and I believe this is still a challenge for newcomers on the English Wikipedia. I also would like to share about how、um, incubator articles can also utilize the power of data box by, you know, installing Wikidata data box on their language incubator. Just like the existing Wikipedia,、um, you know, platforms, and the other challenge is that it is very hard for people to be able to, as I said, go through all this process. Like almost every time,、uh, trying to you know copy, modify, and then paste it back. So if I was creating an article for an artist, I would probably want to like、uh, find an article with similar info box, copy it, and then use it on the article that I'm working on. This is really not、uh, very friendly for new contributors to Wikipedia. So as I said, this session will focus more on data box and the bio template. And how you can use it in your language,、uh, Wikipedia. 
So what is uh, data box? Data box uh, in poor, like poor, we call it like data boxes. It's a, a side box within a book or an article. And it contains like illustrative data or structured data. Data box is also linked to Wikipedia articles from Wikidata. It means you can actually link Wikidata items to it or their correspondent, um, you know, Wikipedia articles. Um, now I want you to take a look at this particular article carefully. And then I will send you to this page. So compare this page to this. And then let me know what you see in the difference. What is the difference between this and that? As I said, this session is typically targeted at uh, new contributors to small language Wikipedias or experienced uh, Wikipedia contributors who have little or no knowledge about adding uh, info boxes using Wikidata powered info boxes like uh, data box and bio templates. So now let's get back to this article on Haruna Idrisu, uh, parliamentarian and, and the Ghanaian parliament. What are the differences? Did you see any difference between the two pages? This and then this. I see so many differences because like if you look at the first page like this, you see an image and some little information about the parliamentarian just beneath the image. I'll share uh, a larger page where you can see all this information which is like uh, structured data pool from the data. And then this, on the other hand, did not, uh, this particular page does not have like uh, an image and any structured form of data. So advantages of Wikidata or Wikidata powered info boxes, such as Wikidata's data box or the bio template is that it gives uh, structured data to Wikipedia articles. It also displays data curated and updated by a broader community. And it also ensures that articles are linked to Wikidata. It also makes sure that Wikipedia articles look very beautiful, which is more important to me. So the essence of adding Wikidata data book is to help link articles to their corresponding Wikidata items. At the same time, display like structured data about the Wikidata, um, about the Wikipedia article from Wikidata, you know, from the, it's a corresponding Wikidata item. And yeah, so these are basically like the importance of having Wikidata powered info boxes on your language Wikipedia. So I will take you through the process of adding a data box and bio template to uh, to the article. Um, if you need any information about how you can set up your own um, data box on your language Wikipedia, you can reach out to me at sadik at at feminism.org, or you can also send me a message on Telegram. I'll be more than happy to help you set up um, a Wikidata data box template in your language Wikipedia. Or we can talk more about how you can simply add um, or you know add by templates to your language Wikipedia. Or if you want to translate Wikidata properties to 
make it reflect on your, you know, data box or bio templates. I'll be more than happy to take you through the translation process and how you can help, you know, localize content from Wikidata. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and then I'll show you in details about how you can add data box and bio templates to a Wikipedia article on any language wiki. So I'll be doing the demonstration on the Deban Wikipedia. Okay, so if you can see my screen, now this is the same article I was talking about. And I'm going to demonstrate. So this is currently in source editing. This is visual editing. So to be able to add by templates or data box to any Wikipedia article in your language, you need to first switch to source editing by clicking this pencil like icon and then click on source editing. Now, this is the article without a bio template. So if I go to Wami Johale, you should see the article, the raw text article appearing like this. Right. Now, because we installed Wikidata data box on the Dagan Wikipedia, what I need to do is to simply go back to the article and then I'll add my data box template. To do that, I just need to put my Kelly bracket, two Kelly brackets, and then I'll put data box. Then I close it like this. So this one, this is how we add data box to Wikipedia articles. So after closing it, I would now have to you know, publish it, but I before then I can preview to see how it will look like. So this is how a data box will look on the article Haruna Idriso. <clears throat> so as I was saying, this is how you can get all of these reflected in your language. You first of all need to go to Wikidata and then translate Wikidata properties. So this is more like a male or female, just like we see on Wikidata. Um, you know, the statement that you see on Wikidata. So you need to try to have it localized. You need to translate them in your language. That's why you see it in Dagwan. So the Dagwan Wikimedians user group have been able to translate several um, Wikidata properties to reflect in their own language. So this is basically, um, this particular one notable work is not translated. So anybody at all can just like, uh, you know, edit it and then translate it inside Wikidata. As I said, once you edit it on Wikidata, it automatically reflects here. You don't need to do double work. So the disadvantage of using like a normal templates, which are not uh, Wikidata powered, uh, that you know you cannot easily customize the templates like um, if it's already in English or another language, you have to just like uh, figure out how to translate it manually in the template. Also, if, um, you know, it doesn't exist in your language, you will have to manually edit the Wikipedia article and then go to the Wikidata item and edit it as well, right? So the advantage is that with Wikidata powered info boxes, all you need to do is to just like edit the Wikidata item, either translate the properties into your language or you just edit the Wikidata item, whatever statement or information that you want to translate, you just translate it. And then when you open the Wikipedia article, you see it reflecting and uh, the info box. So this is typically like 
a simple way to add a data box to a Wikipedia article. You type your two Kelly brackets and then you put data box, then you close your two Kelly bracket. This is only supposed to be done on languages that already have um, data box installed, like the Dagban Wikipedia. Now, let's go back to uh, the bio template. So with bio templates, what you need to do is hmm, you need to the same thing you have to click on and then here instead of typing by template you just need to type uh, uh, instead of typing data box you just need to type by so if it was data box put data box like this Uh, box and then you close your curly bracket. This will bring you data box info box like this. But I mostly prefer, prefer the bio template because it gives me even more information and looks much nicer than this. So what I need to do is to go back and then I put my bio template. Value the same way, then I close the Kelly bracket like this, as you can see. Maximize my screen. Oops. So, as you can see, maximize your screen and then. Yeah, so by a template, uh, you can now publish. Then I will see it. Selected. So I didn't publish because it's already published. So you can see that by a template gives you more information and more nicer look in the interface. Like when you publish it, you see that the info box looks much nicer. So I personally prefer to use the bio template. So this is basically how you can add um, a data box to a Wikipedia article and then bio template. For uh, incubator language project, you would need to use uh, a different format, you can reach out to me about how you can install Databox um, in your language Wikipedia. But you can, you basically need to type like site and then put the uh, Wikidata uh, QID and then still use the opening to curly bracket and close it. And then it will pull, still pull, um, you know, the data from Wikidata. So this is basically how you can um, add by template and then Wikidata data box to your language Wikipedia. And I must say this has really helped us as a community to improve the quality of articles on the Wikipedia articles and also the other languages that we are currently supporting. They've been able to add several data box templates to Wikipedia articles in their language. This does not only help you link uh, Wikidata to Wikipedia articles in your language. As I said, it also helps improve the quality of articles in your language Wikipedia. Yeah, so the goal of this session is to introduce you to Wikidata powered info boxes and also help you add bio templates and Wikidata data box on your language Wikipedia, especially for newbies, if you are very experienced and have um, some knowledge about template, I don't think this session is for you, but for newbies or even experienced contributors who are to tell you to Wikidata data box or powered, Wikidata powered info boxes, I think this session is 
targeted at them. And I hope this session has been useful. And if you have any question, kindly reach out to me and I will be more than happy to help you. Um, thank you so much for your attention. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And yeah. So if you have any question about data box or buy a template, and also if you want to add or install that in your language Wikipedia, I'll be happy to help you. Have a wonderful Wikidata conference. Take care. Bye.